Back here on the Bernie and Sid in the Morning Show. We've interviewed a lot of big-time people, Bernie and I, starting with President Trump back in April of um, 2016. You name it, celebrities, athletes, politicians, entertainers, we do it all. But this guy's special. Franklin Graham, of course, is the president and CEO of Samaritan's Purse, an international Christian relief and evangelism organization. Also the son, of course, of the great Billy Graham, his evangelistic association. And uh, they proclaim the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ around the world. And right now they're in the middle of a very, very big week uh, for you folks. It is the Operation Christmas Child. The National Collection Week actually started yesterday. This is Franklin Graham, a great man. The epitome of giving back this week. It started yesterday. But I did see Franklin Bernie outside in the hall, and I said, what in God's name, which I can say to Frank, what in God's name has you coming back on this show for a second time? You know what he said? I like you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you guys we, are great Americans. It's a uh, mutually <laughs> beneficial situation. We love you, oh, uh, Reverend you. Graham. So thank you so much and, and what you do. And uh, anyway, Sid's going to ask you about to tell us about uh, the Samaritan's Purse. But, you know, first of all, Samaritan's Purse, we work in war areas, famine areas uh, around the world. We, we send out about 800 doctors a year. Uh, we're the only uh, organization in this country that, uh, uh, that uh, has Ebola treatment center in the uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Um, the Euro- there's a European agency, Doctors Without Borders, that fights Ebola, but we're the only U.S. agency that does that. Uh, so that we, we're involved in a lot of issues around the world. When there's hurricane storms, we respond, help people that when their houses have been, been blown over. But at Christmas, we, we collect, ask families to take a shoebox and just fill it with toys for a child. If it's for a girl, put a doll. If it's a boy, put a soccer ball. Put school supplies, uh, things like a toothbrush. Um, Kids don't have access to toothbrushes. And put those items in a box, and we'll send it to a child in one of these these countries, 120 countries we work in. This year, we'll collect about 11 million boxes. Wow. But I ask people, before you send that box to us, pray for the child that's going to get that box. I don't know. People say, well, Franklin, where's my box going to go? You know, I don't know. But... It'll go somewhere. Yes, right. But pray for that child because God knows. And can you imagine 11 million people praying? You know, the Bible tells us that God hears the prayer of one righteous person. Can you imagine 11 people praying for children? Wow, yeah. God's going to hear that prayer and answer that prayer. And we don't stop with that. Once we give them the box, uh, we invite kids who have ac- accepted Christ into their hearts. We invite them to come back to the church where they got their shoe box for a follow-up, a discipleship course. We have a 12-lesson discipleship course, 70 different languages. This year, we had 4.2 million children take it. This, and that's 2019. 2020, we expect it to be a little over 5 million children will be taking a 12-week discipleship course. And this 12-week course is give them a bird's-eye view of the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, some of the key passages. They memorize uh, some of the Bible. And I want them to be able to share Jesus Christ with their friends. Wow. So, Franklin, uh, have you visited most of these countries that will end up getting these boxes? And secondly, where would you say is the the country, the continent, the area that receives the most of these? Probably Africa receives uh, the most. Uh, Some countries are very difficult to get into, um, uh, but we still get there. Afghanistan is a difficult country. You actually go to Afghanistan? Yes, uh, but it's very difficult. Wow. So this is Samaritan's Purse, but this particular operation is called Operation Christmas Child. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to SamaritanPurse.org slash OCC. SamaritanPurse.org slash OCC to find a drop-off location. And I would ask you, Reverend Graham... Uh, what goes into the shoebox, and what are some some of the favorite items that people should include? Uh, uh, there's not a girl in the world that does not like a doll. Uh, there's not a, a boy out there that doesn't like a soccer ball. So we always ask, put a soccer ball, deflate it first, <laughs> put, <laughs> right, right, put right. the pump in there. and uh, But put put school supplies. If you take a simple piece of paper, a pad of paper, and a pen... Kids in third world countries do not have access to a pen and paper. But you give them a, a, a little pad of paper, some pens, a pencil. Uh, those kinds of things are so important. And put little toy cars. 
Um, Matchbox. The best. Uh, those kinds of Hess trucks, Franklin. Yeah. Hess trucks. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but but uh, comb. A, ch- a pair of sunglasses yeah. Yeah. for children. Yeah. They don't have sunglasses no. in these countries. And first thing those kids will do is they'll put those sunglasses on, mm-hmm. and they, it, it, it's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. Watch Chalk, cool. uh, a little yeah. toy watch or oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. A toy watch is huge. Now, this is your second time here. The first time you were here is when your book came out. Yeah. And it was fun. We had a good time because, you, you know, you, you got to know Bernie and I a little bit. And uh, we're both really terrible people, to be honest. We have good hearts, but we've done horrible things. I mean, all the things that you don't want people to do, drugs, pornography, all that stuff. Now, he's speaking for himself, Reverend. <laughs> Believe he, me. Trust me when I tell you he's right next to me here. Okay, buddy. <laughs> so, but, but we felt like you still loved us uh, even after that last meeting, admitting to you all the horrible things that we do. But when you take a look at society as a whole... Are you somewhat disappointed, somewhat distressed? No, uh, because this is why Jesus Christ came, and we're coming to Christmas, and we're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came for the purpose of saving us from our sins. And he, Do you have to be Christian to be saved by Jesus Christ? G- Jesus Christ, when you, when, you, when you ask Christ into your heart, at that moment you're now a follower of Christ. And so Jesus Christ came. Uh, to take our sins. And he went to the cross. He shed his blood and he died on the cross for our sins. He was buried for our sins, but God raised him to life. The grave had no hold on him. And the grave will have no hold on any person that puts their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm a sinner. Uh, I, I'm, I've, I've committed every sin that you've committed, but I've been forgiven. Not not because I'm a well, How come person. I haven't? <laughs> <laughs> but you're still uh, sinning. Uh, okay. <laughs> I tell you what, it's, no, it's all of us. But if we just, conf- but if we confess our sins to Him and ask for His forgiveness, He'll forgive us. The great man Franklin Graham, CEO of Samaritan's Purse, and uh, this year National Collection Week is this week, November 18th to 25th. You go to SamaritanPurse.org/occ to find a drop-off location to put a, a box for poor kids in different countries. And again, Reverend Graham is here for that to promote that for that purpose. But, Reverend, while we have you, I do want to ask you this question. Uh, I saw a poll yesterday. Ninety percent of evangelicals, 90 percent, they say they they believe that this impeachment inquiry down in Washington, D.C. is a witch hunt. Ninety percent of the people are behind this particular president, who, by the way, is no choir boy, but still, they love him. They, they do love him. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because he, he does what he says he's going to do. And it's so refreshing uh, for America to have a, a, a president who's not a politician. Right. And he's, he's just honest. If he says, I'm going to move the, the, the embassy to Jerusalem, he moves it to Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. And uh, if he says that he's going to do something, he does it. So I think it's refreshing that we have somebody like that. Uh, the economy is the best in, in my lifetime. Uh, it's difficult to find people to work because the economy is doing right. so well. Right. And uh, whether you're an African-American, Hispanic, white, Asian, the jobs are there. And he's, he's bringing America. He said, I'm going to make America great again. That's, that's exactly what he's doing. And the swamp is fighting back. The swamp wants the corruption. Uh, yeah. they, they they want the kickbacks from the government, and he's down there trying to drain the swamp. And they are mm-hmm. desperate. Yeah. They are desperate at this yeah. point, which is why they are uh, de- devolving into this this sham of a, a, an investigation down there, which they based on nothing really. Yeah. It's it's based on well, th- there's corruption in the Ukraine, and this thing with Joe Biden and his son, I think, is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, oh. There's reports of the Clinton Foundation getting kickbacks and so forth. So there's, I think this is just the tip of the iceberg, yeah. and, and they, they want to put the focus on Trump and get it off of themselves. But regardless, what I would encourage people to do is pray. Pray for this. Pray for our country, because we are in trouble. Pray for this president, that God would give him wisdom and strength, and that God would just protect him and his yeah. family. And now I say his family, his wife, Melania, Barron, his other children, that God would just protect them, and that the president... Would, would be humble in his heart and that he would see the hand of God protecting him. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, this, this, if people would just pray. That's I a great message. That's, that's a great this. message. Yep. You know, I got to tell you, I, uh, your father was a great man. God rest his soul. And uh, now we've gotten to know you. You know, I feel like we're pretty close to this point to you. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Say what now? I feel like we're pretty close at this point. You and Bernie and I, the three of us, you have a nice relationship. 
But there are people out there that are very, um, or oh, they're tough, funny evangelicals. They yeah. just are. And there's a lot of folks in your business over the years yeah. that gave people like your father, God rest his soul, and you bad names. I know you know this. Mm-hmm. What do you say to people that say, well, uh, slow down, Franklin, because, you know, a lot of the folks who say the same things that you say are out there sinning more than Sid Rosenberg. Well, you know, I, I have to, we all have to stand before God. And I'm going to have to stand before God one day and give an account for, for my life, for the opportunities he's, he's given me. Uh, I'll have to account for things that I missed and didn't do. And all of us have to stand before God. And what I encourage people to do is just ask yourself, am I ready? Mm-hmm. And if you're not, and I have a lot of people say, well, I'm not sure, or I think so. I'm not talking about thinking so. I'm not talking about being, sh- I'm talking about being absolutely sure. And if you're not sure in your own heart, all you have to do is just say, God, I have sinned and I'm sorry. Forgive me. And I believe that Jesus is your son, that he took my sins to that cross and died in my place. And I want to invite him to come into my heart to reign and to change me. And if a person prays that prayer, that will happen. Uh, The spirit of God will come into and will begin to change you. And it happens instantly. It's not something that just well over the uh, next 50 years. Oh, I'm, I mean, he's always working on me. I'm a slow learner. Right. <laughs> but, he's, right. but he's changing me, and he's changed me. I, I was 22 years old when I prayed that prayer. I never regretted it. Wow. He's forgiven me. And I know that one day this body of mine is going to quit. And uh, if you read in the paper, Franklin Graham is dead. Don't believe it for a second. I'll be more alive at that point than I've ever been because I'll be in the presence of Almighty God. Oh, incredible. <laughs> Reverend Franklin Graham. Listen, just one last question, and we'll talk one more time about Operation Christmas Child. Uh, speaking of uh, God reaching out to people who otherwise would ne- never be touched by God, Kanye West teamed up with uh, yeah. Joel Osteen over the weekend. Your thoughts on that pairing and Kanye in particular? Well, I'm, I, I'm always, uh, listen, this is an example of a guy who was in a hospital, had a mental breakdown, and he called out to God. And God heard his prayer and changed Conway, Kanye's heart. And, and here he is today, you, and he's still a rapper, but he, he's using rap music not to talk about sex and violence. Mm. He's using rap music to sing God's praises and to lift right. up the name of God's son, Jesus Christ. So more power to him. I, I, I wish him the best. You believe I, he's sincere? I think what I can, what I can tell, he's sincere. Yeah. yeah, he does look sincere. All yeah. right, so let's, uh, let's end this where we started. Once again, Franklin Graham, the president and CEO of Samaritan's Purse. You do this wonderful thing, Operation Christmas Child, every year, reaching out to about 120 countries that have difficulty getting stuff to those mm-hmm. children. The Giving Week actually started yesterday. It goes right through November the 25th. Yeah. Tell folks what they can do, what they should do, what they have to go to find out what to do. Give them all the details. Uh, Samar- they go to Samaritan'sPurse.org. Uh, our website, and then click on Operation Christmas Child. It'll show you how to pack a box, the item that you ought to put in a box. You can put your zip code in, and it'll tell you the church close to where you live oh, wow. that is a collection center. And so we have churches right here in Manhattan that are collecting them uh, all over the New York area. Uh, New York is one of our largest giving uh, states. It's it's huge. So a lot of people are a lot of people here are involved. But just go to the website, SamaritansPurse.org, and all the information. And with some great videos there. Oh, uh, excellent. Uh, oh, with this, the kids actually getting the boxes? Do you have any of that? Oh, yes. We, we've got, we've oh, got kids great. getting the boxes, uh, families packing, uh, families praying for these boxes. Wow. It's, it's a lot of videos are there. Wow. This is awesome. a Christian international relief. This is real good foreign aid. Again, Franklin Graham, the CEO of Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child, SamaritanPurse.org to find a drop-off location. A uh, Reverend, thank you so much. Thank you. God thank bless you, for, you guys. Merry God, Christmas. God bless Merry you. Christmas Merry Christmas, and too. thank you for what you do. Thank you. Thank you.